These radio dishes in the mountains of Northern California have been waiting for years for the first call from intelligent life in space, but they're not listening anymore. A steep drop in state and federal funds has forced astronomers to pull the plug on the telescopes operated by the SETI Institute. It stands for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. What we're doing is trying to use radio telescopes and optical telescopes to try and find evidence of another technology somewhere else. Right now you're seeing static because the, what we're looking at doesn't contain any signals, but if we'd see a signal, you would see some type of, of pattern. The shutdown came just as researchers were preparing to point the radio dishes at a new batch of planets. We know where there are 1,235 planets, and we had a program that was crafted to spend the next two years with the Allen Telescope Array exploring those stars with their planets. The $50 million array has been scanning deep space since 2007 with the help of a $30 million donation from Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen. Allen's spokesperson said the billionaire doesn't plan on providing more funds to the facility, which costs more than $2 million a year to operate. Some argue that in these tough economic times, looking for alien life isn't a priority. But astronomers point out that the telescopes could provide other services, such as tracking space debris to avoid collisions. So we managed to keep this going. Unless researchers can find more private and public funds, if E.T. finally does phone Earth, he may get a disconnected signal. Haven Daily, Associated Press, Mountain View, California.